to You're talking about the Baz Luhrmann movie, right? Yes, sir. Yes. I saw that, too. You know, it was a, it, I was a little disappointed. I think the uh, guy that played Elvis is the best Elvis I've ever seen. Austin? <laughs> yeah, Austin, he's the best I've ever seen. He had his talk down, his laugh, everything about him. Tom Hanks as a colonel got on my nerves. But uh, a lot of the stuff in there was so exaggerated, mm -hmm. like that scene at the end in Vegas where he fired the colonel. That didn't happen. I was there. I was playing with Elvis. We only played Vegas once. That was that time near the end. And that did not happen. I mean, uh, the story of, of what the colonel and the reason Elvis played Vegas the story about the colonel's gambling and all that stuff was true, but that episode where he fired the colonel and all that kind of stuff on stage, that didn't happen. But uh, the, the colonel and Elvis's relationship was so messed up. Colonel Elvis was scared of the colonel, and uh, it, it just was a dysfunctional relationship. I remember we'd go to Palm Springs with Voice, and, uh, and the colonel lived in Palm Springs. And we'd be in the living room, and someone would say, "Hey, E, Colonel's coming over," and E would just get uptight, and go to his bedroom, and they'd come out and say, "Hey, you guys go back to the hotel." <laughs> so we'd leave the we'd leave the house. Wow. So it wasn't a good relationship at all. Yeah, it just seemed like when you were watching the movie, like he, the Colonel, had isolated him so much that even for <clears throat> people that wanted to help him, they couldn't get to him. Right. You know, if, if he could have, if he could have had the Red West, Sunny West, Dave Hibbler. All those, the Memphis Mafia, as they call them, they had such a circle around him. If he could have had some healthy people around him, he could have got healthy. He, he, maybe he could have lived longer. I mean, he did have health problems anyway, but uh, he probably could have lived longer. But, you know, he sang great till the very end. He oh, was yeah. definitely overweight. I wouldn't call him obese, but he was definitely close to being fat. But he still looked better than any of us on stage. I always thought if I could look like Elvis, I gotta have anybody I wanted. <laughs> Even at the end, you know, he just had he just was a, such a handsome man. And and if you watch that show from uh, Rapid City, South Dakota, on CBS, his voice was still there, man, mm -hmm. at the bitter end. He couldn't do the kicks, but he could still sing his butt off. Thanks for watching this clip of Country Drive. To see more in the future, please hit like and subscribe.